before we have the lectures as well, so that you know what yeah. the tutors yeah. say, yeah. Really understand really what yeah. the tutors yeah. talking yeah. about, well, rather I'd than not understanding it definitely. and then having to go away and work yeah. even hard yeah. at home. Yeah. Yeah reading a lecture before as Ruth was saying you know you just have that background knowledge and when you're having that lecture you think oh yeah I remember that I yeah, understand definitely. you miss a lecture and then you look back on the lecture that they put on the BLE so there's like three words to yeah. you like <laughs> masses of you know expansion on that but you can't yeah. you could never if you missed a lecture and then look back you would just not get that lecture Definitely. like in other degrees you kind of can look back and say right you know I'll just look mm. at the lecture it's online and it's yeah. in so much depth it's not everything's cut down you know it's it, yeah. you know the key thing is being in your lectures and taking those yeah. notes yeah. I don't think I would have passed my exams um, you know, in, in December, if I wasn't there notes. taking those notes. Yeah. And yeah. I personally can't listen to a lecturer and write down everything at the same time. It becomes too difficult for me. But when you go over the lecture again, you'll remember yeah. what they've said. And recording lectures is, is like, a lot of us do that. Um, sometimes, you know, they're quite in-depth and you miss what they say, yeah. if you've got it recorded, you know, you can go back to it and make your extra notes at home. You just need to get your notes and your, and your sort of lecture, um, what's on the VLE together, just mm. organise, do it as you go along, don't mm. just yeah. like, yeah, like do your lecture notes and put it aside. Yeah. My biggest tip would be keep a revision list. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So if you have a lecture, write it down. Have write a heading. Yeah. Once it's on the VLE, write where that lecture is. Make sure you know where all your lectures are from. So if something's from HHP, correspond that with what's in your student handbook. Yeah. So you know exactly where it falls into. Yeah. Even yeah. though a lot, some of them do overlap, I'm still have like a clear heading where it's mm, from. Yeah. So you know, if, you, if you're looking at your student handbook, you say, all these points here, this is what I need to revise. Mm -hmm. You know exactly where to where to go in your own notes on the yeah. BLE, where to pull those lectures out from. Yeah. And listen to what your tutor says at the beginning, because like yeah. Helen Watson told us, I've got a lecture list yes. for you, I'll look on it, and none of us did, none of mm -hmm. us even looked at it. And then like two weeks before the exam, she was, has any of you looked at it? And we were like, well, that exists, and it was like so helpful. Yeah, yeah, it? Means, like, yeah, yeah. that lecture list helped a mm -hmm. lot, it took mm -hmm. off so much like burdens of missing things out yeah yeah because you will if you don't document it you will forget it yeah. but yeah don't let it pile up i really regret letting my work pile up because i it's okay understanding a subject the content isn't necessarily hard and you'll leave a lecture and you'll be like, that was interesting, I've understood it. Mm. But it's how it all adds up together, all that work yeah. piles up. Mm. You know, as long as you like make your notes as you go along as well, because yeah. that's, you know, you, you're giving yourself that understanding. If you don't get anything, it's you're doing it then and you've got time to ask. Exactly. And then when it does come to exam time, it's just, you're just memorising it then. Mm. It's not, oh my God, I've got to learn it and memorise it. Exactly.